Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue with Windows Update and that it's stuck trying to undo changes made to your computer. So if you're coming across this message, the best thing you can do is just wait. People seem to be very impatient and they don't realize that if nothing happens on the screen for five or ten minutes, that doesn't necessarily mean that anything is wrong. They just have to be a little more patient. I get a ton of comments from people after the fact, you know, they can't wait five or ten minutes for something, and I'm like, you know, if they just waited, they wouldn't even be commenting it. So just keep that in mind. Just give it some time. If it takes five minutes, ten minutes, an hour, just be patient. Now, if it's going past several hours, I would say if it's more than... I mean, this is a rough rule of thumb. It depends on your hardware, your past experiences with your computer and, and whatnot. But generally, I would say if it's going on for more than a few hours, that's probably an indication there's an issue. So at that point, if you had to do a hard power off of your computer, you might feel the need or inclined to do so. I wouldn't necessarily advise that, but it's your computer. If you don't want to wait another day or so to let it continue, that's your prerogative. I'm not responsible for any sort of data loss from doing a power off in that manner. So anyway, a couple other things we can take a look into here as well, besides just being patient, would be to open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best match, check back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the Windows Update troubleshooter and the corresponding run button. And then hopefully at this point, if you check for updates, hopefully the issue is no longer present. If you're still having an issue, you can open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And then into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Once that scan has concluded, close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. And if you attempt to check for updates or going through an upgrade process right now, hopefully that issue won't be prevalent any longer. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.